but seriously, I don't know how this, I don't know how freaking Peter does it, man. Let's do it. One, 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 one handed. Hopefully, it'll drop it. One handed. <laughs> seriously, I gotta go back to the gym. I'm gonna see if I can hold one second. One wheel. Check that out, you guys. Muscle man. 19 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm out of breath. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get this vlog started, you guys. So I have five different wheels from two manufacturers, Yokohama and Ray's Wheels, you guys. True JDM legends in the uh, wheel uh, industry. Of course, we're gonna talk specifically for the FL5 or the F FK8. The wheel for me at the moment right now, they both fit for both vehicles, but specifically for the FL5, I'm gonna unbox five, did I say four? Did I say five, five different wheels, you guys. I don't know why I keep on saying four like this, or five like this. I have diff five different wheel. holy man, I can't say it today. I have di five different wheels from these two manufacturers, and they're pretty sick, you guys. So, I'm gonna st start unboxing for you guys. No, we can't even talk today. I'm gonna start unboxing them, and, uh, they're pretty sick, so it's gonna be hard to choose one specific wheel setup for this FL5. But uh, let's get right into it, you guys, and I'm gonna open the first one. It's pretty flashy. Let's let's get right into it. The first one is. Advan R6. Look at that, guys. I can't pick it up like Peter Lou one one hand. <laughs> but look at that. I'm gonna set it down and uh, let's get a little closer. Actually, this is sick. This is Racing Candy Red. All these wheels are gonna be 18, uh, either nine and a half or 10. Uh, they're pretty aggressive. They're 18 because we're gonna go on a track. They're meant for a track. If you wanna go a little more flashy, maybe you can go on a 20. But these are, we're gonna concentrate on track oriented and street uh, setups. That's gonna be a little more comfortable. Look at that. And of course, the inside, well, I'm gonna put it down here, guys. I'll grab you guys. This, the, on a white, this this red really pops. And not as flashy as the Ray's um, T37s in a hyper red. The hyper red is a little more flashy, more, more candy. This is a little on the darker side, if you guys are interested in a red. But, absolutely gorgeous wheel. Let's open the next one. So nice. I'm gonna weigh them for you guys after, and uh, if you guys are interested in the weight of this wheel too. I'm gonna wait for you guys right now, and the R6 comes in at 18 point, I believe it's four. Taking it out is easy, but putting it back in is harder, especially with this uh, wheel condom or whatever they call this thing. Uh, let's throw this in. Oh, this is sick, you guys. One hand. Next up, and these are all new to the market right now, even though the design's been around for a while, but these are all new to the market. Uh, next up is the T37 Sega S Plus. Okay, this one is uh, 18 by nine and a half. Instruction booklet or certificate of being genuine. Condom. God, this is nice, you guys. After all raised wheels comes with this little tag here. So if you wanna display it in your house or in your office. The milling it just oh beautiful. Yeah. 
We got the uh, S Plus, Rage Engineering. So they're more of a premium look. Uh, of course, a premium price too. But uh, you guys, I know some of you guys are like the old school, old G guys love the stickers, but um, this one doesn't have a sticker except the ones in the back. This is kind of a brighter bronze, not as dark. So if you want on the brighter side, this is the wheel for you. So it weighs in at 19.4 pounds. Not bad. And all these wheels you guys are in stock right now. So if you guys are interested in it, uh, hit up our sponsor of this video, Envision Auto Imports uh, in Edmonton here, you guys. I'll leave the link in below. Uh, in the description and uh, hit them up. They'll be more than uh, happy to help you guys out to get into the right wheel that you guys want. So up next we have C28s in a 18 by 10. Ooh, this is nice. I like this. I like this, guys. This is the wheel for you if you're into something more dark and a lot of spokes. This is, ah. Oh. And if you're an OG kind of guy, you would love this. This is a uh, genuine Ray stickers that goes on with this wheel. And on the red on, the metallic or the chrome red on the dark gun metal, just pops. Uh, let me see what this color is called. It is diamond dark gun metal, you guys in a 18 and a half or 18 by 10 so this is a little bit of wider uh, more aggressive wheel for the fl5 i think this is more this is cheaper than the other wheels i think but they're ranging about 4,000 to 5,000 canadian for a full set uh, but again check out envision auto imports you guys if you guys are interested in any of these and want pricing gerald will be more than happy to help you out and get you into the right wheel that uh, suits your needs. Ah, there's something about a brand new wheel. It's just, it's like eye candy. It just, oh, just, yeah. It's too bad you can't have them all and just change them up every year and just something sick, but it gets really expensive on the pocket. You can just admire it, you guys. So this is a 19 by two. It's a little on the heavier side because obviously it's a 10 inch, you guys. It's a little bigger than the other wheel so far. All right, next up, we have the Z40s. What's with those uh, Z, E, T, E, C, E? Something has to have a, an E at the end of it. Wonder what's up with that. Maybe there's something about it that I don't know. But. Let's take a look. Oh, ooh, this, ooh. This, this is, damn you guys, look at that, look at that, white wheels, I was never a big fan of white wheels, but you know what really did it for me, is that silver etching, I don't know, hopefully, I'll put it down after, but is that silver etching that just stands out, and uh, it, it makes it different than just a plain, just straight white wheel with all the uh, letters and everything, all white. But this is, uh, this one is called Diamond White. Boom, Diamond White. Diamond White, you guys. Look at that. Imagine, uh, I was thinking like, white championship white on white but this is not a championship white guys championship white has a little bit more of a cream if you're not a honda guy honda guys will know this right away i don't even have to tell you guys but championship white has a little bit more of a like a cream color to it this one is like just pure white 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 and uh yeah it's, it's, ooh, uh, it's sick look at that can we get a little closer for you guys See, that's what does it for me. It just offsets it enough just to make the wheel pop. That silver. Nice. 
I wasn't, a, like I said, I wasn't a big fan of white wheels, but for some reason now, white wheels is just the thing. And what is a fad? You, you, you might have to just go OG and just continue using it, but it will probably like, you, you probably want to change them out in a couple of years. Yeah, but yeah, premium, you guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh these and uh, let's see how much they weigh. Of course, Rays always have these. So it is 19.2 pounds. Honestly, I really dig these guys. If you just, if you have want a wheel for display, it's not something about this white. It's for, for me anyways, so far, it's uh, my favorite one so far right now. Maybe not in the car, but uh, for display, yeah, white wheel is just mm, mm, mm. All right, last but not least, you guys, this is the uh, oldest guy on the market. This wheel has been around for quite some time already, so it's the Advan GT Premium. Uh, this one is in umber, umber bronze, umber or umber. You're gonna love this one. Of course, condom and uh, we'll clip. And again, all of them come with valve stamps. Really nice ones too. Ooh, look at that. Super premium wheel. This is in the God Spec. I'll tell you more about the God Spec in a bit, but uh, it's a custom ordered wheel, custom sizing. So Peter is the one that actually came up with the size uh, for the FL5. And it's a really aggressive spec for the track or the street. And uh, I believe made to order, so there's certain size offset uh, for track use. But um, if you want a set, I think there's a few of them left available because you have to buy them in the whole batch. But you can't get this size. Um, this you have to custom order it. So I'll put uh, up this link up here. Peter's information. Uh, hit him up, you guys. Very knowledgeable guy. He knows everything about wheels and tires. And he can definitely help you out if you're not sure or unsure of what size to get into your vehicle. He is your man, the real wheel deal, guys. But anyway, let's get uh, let's get back into this wheel. This is a little darker bronze. If you love the gloss, unlike the rays, uh, the TEs, they're more of a like a textured matte finish, a little more on the brighter side. This one is ugh, sick and nice and a little on the darker side not as flashy still flashy but not too flashy but it comes with a price tag you guys that's why it's called pre uh, premium somewhere that's why it's called the premium and this one has the both of uh, the best of both worlds milled in to be a little on the flashy side a little more painted in or i think these are powder coated i'm sure they're powder coated and it's not as flashy, so you do get both worlds. So Advan, and I, I know some of the Advans, these are all silver, and it's the opposite though. Still pretty sick. Let's uh, go ahead and weigh these, and uh, let's see how much they weigh. This is a 10 inch, so it's a little on the wider side. So this is a 19, so 19 pounds. That's not bad for a wide wheel like this, a 10 inch, that weighs less than some of these smaller guys. So first off, we got the Advan GT's premiums in 18 by 10, plus 40 offset, racing Umber bronze color with a uh, machining logo. Next is the Advan Racing R6, 18 by nine and a half, plus 45, racing candy red. And uh, yeah, these are pretty nice. Next, we have the Volk Racing ZE40s in the 18 and a half plus 40 in the uh, diamond white. These are nice too. Next, again, C28 Club Racer 2s, black edition uh, by Volk Racing, 18 by 10 plus 40. Uh, diamond dark gunmetal, really, really nice if you want to go subtle. And then you got the new kit on the block, OG style, 
Volk Racing T37. Can never go wrong with these. Uh, Sega S Plus. Okay. In 18 by 9.5. Plus 45. In bronze. Very nice, you guys. So that's it. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying the unboxing. Five different wheels for the same car. Five different colors. Different styles. I'm not a wheel dealer or anything like that. I'm just lucky to have some friends that are in the wheel industry. And to get all these wheels in one location and do an unboxing for you guys is pretty crazy. Uh, thanks again to Gerald at Envision Auto Imports uh, for making this happen. They're a big uh, supporter of me and obviously I support them, you guys. So hit them up, you guys that are looking for some wheels. But what do you guys think so far? The Advance, GT Premiums, Advan R6, we got the Z40s, C28s, or the OG, well, this one is new on the block, but classic T37s, and you got the dark bronze, light bronze, you got the flashy red, you got the plate safe gunmetal, and trending white. What wheel would you choose, and what wheel would you go with? Uh, but they're definitely 18 for track use or more comfort on the um, on the streets. Uh, just more practical, I think, for tire sizes. Uh, even though if you really want a really good looking wheel for shows and you don't really care about tracks, you may want to jump into an 18, uh, 19 or 20. Uh, more of a stock wheel but wider. Most aggressive is 10 and uh, nine and a half is more on the conservative side. Uh, offsets are all different. 40, you go from, you go from, you go from 40 to, uh, yeah, mostly plus 40. But without modifications to your wheel wells or your fenders or, but you have to choose the right tire size too. It, that will play, especially if you go into a 10. Peter can help you out with that too, if you're looking for, because you get the right rim, you need the right tires too, without rubbing. So, but uh, yeah, lots to choose from, but if you're in the market for even an FK8, if you have an FK8, these will fit too, because they're cross com compatible, is what you say. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Hopefully this can, well, I guess it's gonna even make it even harder to choose the right, yeah, you can't go wrong, man. If you're going with a JDM wheel, Advans and Rays are the goal too. Yeah, you can't go wrong, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you guys next week. See ya.